The Life of Saint Padre Pio Padre Pio was originally named Francesco Forgione. He was born on May 25, 1887, in a little town called Petrocina in southern Italy. He was baptized a day later and grew up with his older brother and three younger sisters. His family was very faithful. They attended Mass and prayed the Rosary every day. They also fasted three times a week. Padre Pio's parents and grandparents knew the sacred scripture by heart and told Bible stories often. Padre Pio embraced his special calling to go to the Capuchin Monastery at age 10. He joined the Franciscan Order in Sicily. He was ordained a friar in August of 1910. He took the name Pio in honor of St. Padre Pius V, the patron saint of his hometown. A month after his ordination, while visiting and praying in the Plano Romana, a church in his hometown, Padre Pio received the wounds and pains of Christ crucified, the stigmata. This is a symbol of holiness, which was first given to St. Francis of Assisi. The stigmata is the physical wounds of Christ, and it is very painful and visible on the body. Padre Pio's holy stigmata wounds and his bandages were said to smell like roses, and his wounds never became infected, despite the fact that they were constantly bleeding for the next 50 years. Soon after, in 1911, Padre Pio was sent home to his family due to his ill health. While he was at home, he taught in schools and said Mass often. His Masses would sometimes last up to three hours. He was very emotional during Mass. With full knowledge of what he was doing, he was often visibly crying during Mass. According to the observation of Padre Giovanni Urbani, he was meditating on every word in the Mass. He read with emotion. During the consecration, he would spend 10 to 15 minutes adoring the consecrated bread and wine. When he returned to the Capuchin Monastery in 1916, he was put in charge when a majority of his brother friars were selected for military service during World War I. From this point onwards, Padre Pio became a spiritual director to many young men and women during his time. As a spiritual director, he came up with his five rules to spiritual growth. Weekly confession, daily communion, spiritual reading, meditation, and examination of conscience. He would often grace people with his motto of pray, hope, and don't worry. Padre Pio had a close connection to the sacrament of confession. Padre Pio would often give people confession and it is said that he could read their hearts. Padre Pio spent most of his day hearing confessions. From 1918 to 1923, he heard confessions 15 to 19 hours a day. In 1962, 83,035 women and 19,837 men registered for confession with Padre Pio, an average of about 273 per day. Padre Pio heard a total of about 5 million confessions. Aside from the gifts related to the stigmata, he had the gift of healing and prophecy. When future Pope John Paul II, Carol Joseph Wojtyla, confessed to Padre Pio in 1947, Padre Pio correctly prophesied that the Polish priest, Carol Wojtyla, would become Pope someday. Padre Pio died at age 81 on September 23, 1968. He was canonized a saint on June 16, 2002 by Pope St. John Paul II, and his feast day is September 23. He is the patron saint of civil defense volunteers, teenagers, and his birthplace of Petrochina, Italy. His incorrupt body lies in San Giovanni Rotondo in southern Italy. Padre Pio showed us what it means to suffer well in faith. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us.